Hey, hi, hello friends. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I just realized I still have my makeup clipped. <laughs> oh well, um, today we're going to be doing a lipstick declutter. I'm going through my entire lipstick collection and letting go of those that may be expired or that I just don't really like. So if that sounds good to you, be sure to stay tuned. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell before you leave just so that you'll be informed of all my future uploads. Okay, so here are all the current lippies. Um, oh, I guess I'll put this one in it too. It's my panning one that I currently own and that have already been opened. I do have some lippies in a separate drawer that have not been opened yet and I'm going to keep it that way. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into this declutter. Um, yeah, my nails look wild. I put on some press-ons and I cut them down. I'm not a nail tech, so they look how they look. That being said, let's go ahead and start with this one. Um, this is from Kylie Cosmetics. It's one of her high glosses. This one is in the shade um, Always Shining. I really do enjoy this formula. I recently emptied her clear gloss of this, and now this is my current painting gloss. So of course I'm going to be hanging on to this item. The next one is from Makeup Revolution. This was the Nightmare Before Christmas collection they did in the shade Oogly Boogly. This is kind of, um, it's more of a metallic bronzy situation. Um, I did some votes on my Instagram page to keep or toss this one. And everyone, well not everyone, but the majority voted to keep. And I think that I will hang on to it for now. It's something different, very unique to my collection. Um, plus, you know, the packaging is limited edition. So for now, I'm going to hang on to this lippy. The next one is from Milani and this is a black lipstick. I've only played with this once. It's not really something that I'm going to be choosing on a daily basis, but it's something that I got in my wish list swap that I had asked for um, because I want to start incorporating some black lipstick into my look. So this definitely is not going anywhere. Um, next is going to be from Kylie Cosmetics. This was from the Coco collection, the original one. So like, how long ago was that? <laughs> like three to four years ago. Um, the shade Baby Girl. I never really even, um, wore this shade. It was just a little bit too light, um, and bright for my personal liking. Um, that's ultimately why I decided to declutter it because, I know that I am realistically never going to wear this shade. So for that reason, we're going to go ahead and declutter this lippy. Next, this one is from Dose of Colors. I actually just got this. I think it's a gloss. It's a shade Maricino. Yeah, and I just got this during their birthday sale. It was free with purchase. I'm not really sure how I'm going to like that particular tone on me, but I literally just got this, like I said, so I'm definitely going to hang on to it for now, and if anything, I'm going to use it to gauge the formula and see if it's something that I enjoy or, you know, would want to purchase more of, that kind of thing, so going to hang on to the Dose of Colors one for now. Then we have another Kylie High Gloss. This was a part of her Christmas collection, not last year, but the year before. And this is a really pretty gloss. Like, look at those reflex. Gorgeous. I've gotten some use out of this, not a ton, but the formula still seems to be okay. So I'm definitely going to hang on to this and continue to use it and try to incorporate it a little more just because... I believe these glosses are now the oldest ones in my collection, so I want to make sure they're getting some use before they come up on their expiration date, but definitely going to be hanging on to this one for now. Next, I have the Scott Barnes Lippy. This one is in the shade Heartbreaker. This is one of my favorite lip shades and formulas. 
This is his matte formulation. And while it's matte, uh, it's still very comfortable, long lasting, feels lightweight on the lips. I really enjoy these um, matte lipsticks from the brand. I know that he's a bit problematic at the moment, if I'm recalling correctly, uh, but these are already in my collection and I'm gonna hang on to them because I like the formula and I already spent the money. So, <laughs> keeping that one. Next is from Tarte. This is her H2O Gloss. This I actually recently got from a friend. Um, she sent me a little care package. I'd never tried this formula before, but it has quickly become a holy grail. You guys, I don't know why we've been sleeping on these. No one talks about them, but literally so good. This shade here is like my lips, but better and plumpy and juicy. And the formula is really great as well. There is no way in hell I'm letting go of this. Someone's going to have to pry it from my cold dead hands. This gloss is good. I could definitely see myself picking up uh, other shades in the future. It, ugh, I freaking, I love it. All right, next we have another one from Kylie Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Better Not Pout. Um, I've had this for about two years, I want to say. Um, and with this one, the formula has just expired. I did a little try on uh, on my IG stories and like it just, it doesn't, it's like chunky, it's thick. The formula has obviously changed. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. The next thing we have is from Kat Von D. This shade is Hawkwind. I had actually gotten this for um, Christmas, not last year, but the year before in a little mini set. And honestly, I really love this shade. Uh, this formula is also so good. Again, lightweight, long lasting, um, holds up well against transfer. And I don't know if the formula is the same since they've rebranded like 1,800 times. But I'm really glad that I have this in my collection. It's definitely a favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this. The next one is from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Candy K. This is like my favorite shade from the brand. It's another one that's like, you know, my lips but better kind of thing. Um, it's just such a gorgeous nude on me. It's an older one, so I definitely need to be focusing on it more. But overall, I just, wow, I think the shade is beautiful. I love her velvet formulations. It's like a, it's like the perfect mix between like a matte and something more glossy, but I'm 100% holding on to this one. I love it. I love it. Next is from Physicians Formula. This is the Diamond Plumper. Um, they sent this to me in PR and it, I haven't even used it yet because it has like a burnt chemically smell. And it honestly makes me really nervous to even put it on my lips. Like, I wish you guys could smell it through the camera. Um, but it just smells so weird that it makes me afraid. Um, I think the packaging is super pretty. I can't attest to the formula. But for that reason, I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Because the smell is just, I don't, I mean, I guess I could do like a little swatch test to see if it's going to like fry my skin off. Um, and I'll, you know, leave that there for a little bit. But I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Okay, next from, i to shake it a little bit. This is from KKW. I got this in a mini bundle um, from a wishlist swap that I do with a friend. This one is the shade Radiate, and I think that this shade is really pretty. Um, it's a little light for me, so it's kind of more of just like um, a topper, but it has a nice like peachy undertone. 
I guess, and I'm really into minis um, because I actually have the opportunity to enjoy it, use it, and potentially finish it so I can purchase something else. But I love the gold little reflex in here. And I mean, I have only used this one one time. It's super pretty and I'm going to 100% hang on to this. I think it'd also be a really great um, travel product. All right, next we have another one from Scott Barnes. This one is in the shade Love Story. This is his matte formulation again. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it. And this one, as you can see, is definitely a lot lighter than the Heartbreaker shade, but I still like it. It's a really pretty um, neutral pinky tone on me, and I'm obsessed with the formula, so... I'm not ready to let this one go yet. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to her. Put the keeps back there, I think. <laughs> um, the next one... Oh. Maybe. The next one we have is from Kylie Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Truffle. Uh, I love this formula, you guys. It's so underrated in my opinion. And honestly, this shade is freaking gorgeous. But I am decluttering because I think the formula has gone off. It has a bunch of, which I don't think you can see, or maybe you can, a bunch of like colored balls all over it, which I mean, this formula is um, like two and a half, three years old. So I could definitely understand why it's gone bad. Sucks that I haven't gotten the use that I've wanted to out of it. Um, honestly, COVID really put a damper on my lip game, but that's the shade right there. I love the shade. Um, I love the formula. It's something I could definitely see myself picking up again in the future but just because the formula isn't the same as it was when I got it I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go next we have just a tint um, from Colourpop this one's in the shade big time I did have a lot of these and I've decluttered um, quite a few of them just because the undertones of all of these are so pinky and I guess I was just looking for something more brown because that's kind of like what the packaging looks like. But they're so pinky. Um, for that reason, I just don't really use it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. Another Just a Tint. This one is in the shade Gimme Smoa. See how the, it just looks like not super pinky on the outside, but then like... All of the um, shades end up being like pretty pinky. Like look at this one. Like, but that one's more like peachy toned. Um, I do like this formula. It's really great for just a subtle wash of color. Uh, I do like this one's shade better. So I will go ahead and hang on to this one, which now I'm putting the keeps back in this little bin here. Moving right along, we have another Kylie gloss. This one is in the shade. Ho, ho, ho. This is another one from her um, little holiday line two years ago. The packaging is so cute. I love this shade. I love this formula. Um, and because, like, the formula is still good, I am going to go ahead and still hang on to these. Um, I love it. So, yeah, she's staying. <laughs> Next is from Becca Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Dune. Um, I received this one in exchange for review. Initially, I was like not really sure about the shade on me, and I still think that it depends. Um, if I'm tanner, this looks really nice. If I'm paler, it looks too much like my skin, which doesn't make sense looking at the squatch, but I know, okay, I know. Um, but I am going to go ahead and hang on to this. The formulation is still really good. The packaging is beautiful. As you guys can tell, I've gotten some pretty good use out of it lately. I basically rediscovered it when I was doing my Instagram, um, keep it or toss it with my lippies, but 
really enjoy this one and I'm going to hang on to it. Lastly, for the Kylie glosses, I'm pretty sure this is the last one. This one is in the shade Wish Come True. And even though it looks red here, like it's not going to make my lips red or anything like that. It's just like a subtle wash to give your lips a little bit more of a plumpy color. But I'm hanging on to this because, not to sound like a broken record, but I do like the formula and it's still good. So I'm hanging on to it. Next, this one is the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. Okay, so here's the tea. Can you guys see that? How it's like completely like separated? Um, that's the reason I'm going to get rid of this. I actually really love this formulation. It made my lips literally look so good. This is something that I could definitely see myself repurchasing. Uh, I did use it a lot until we went into quarantine. And then I was like, well, I my lippies took a hit. <laughs> um, but I could definitely see myself picking this back up. It didn't like burn or anything. It does have a minty scent. So if you're not into that, then you probably wouldn't like it. But I do really love this as a plumping gloss, but because I feel um, it's gone bad just by the separation and the cloudiness, it used to literally be clear. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it for that reason. Next is another one of these lippies from KVD that I got. Um, this one is in the shade Bajas. I don't know. And it's a super pretty pinky. I've never, I've, I've swatched this shade a few times, but I've never worn it. And that's the reason I think I might get rid of it because it's like, yeah, would it would be nice to have if I want to mix things up. Yeah. But I've had it for like a year and a half and I have yet to wear it. So for me, I just feel like that means I should probably let it go. Um, I might see if a friend wants this one just because, like I said, I haven't ever worn it. I've only swatched it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Next is from Bobbi Brown. I picked this up last winter in a little bundle that they had um, on sale. This gloss. And oh my goodness, it literally... It is so good. I never really heard anyone talk about Bobbi Brown's um, lip products before. Maybe I just haven't been in the right circle. But this is really good. It's really pretty. It's super moisturizing. Not super sticky. Um, I've really been enjoying this. So I'm going to hang on to it. Next is this YSL Lippy. It's just shade 16. I got this in a giveaway. And so I don't know if that's like, maybe the formula is not good and that's why it is the way that it is. But this shade one is beautiful. That one right there. The shade is really pretty. However, it's just such a liquidy formula. I put this on my lips and I ended up blending it out with a brush, which it looked really nice, really airbrushed, but it only lasted on my lips for like an hour. So because of that, I know that I would never ever wear this. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Next shade we have is the Kylie uh, Velvet Red. This is a, this is like a red red, like a freaking bright red. Um, I've only worn this a handful of times because red isn't something that I normally gravitate to. But I am going to hang on to this, um, even though I probably don't need all the reds that I have. I love this formula. I love the shade. And it's still good. So I'm going to hang on to this one probably until it's not good anymore, honestly. Next is a lippy from Half Caked. This one is in the shade Bamboo Banga. Um, this is, I talked about these actually in my Half Caked review. Uh, that video is up on my channel if you want to check it out but this shade is gorgeous um I also love the finish the dry down it's matte but it's not drying at all it lasts long on the lips and yeah I love this shade so I'm definitely going to hang on to this one 
All right, next we have another gloss from KKW. This one's in the shade Nude 1.5. Uh, I actually just wore this one the other day. I really like it. It's a really pretty nude shade. I enjoy the formula. I was kind of worried about it because it looked like broken up, like it was separating. But I literally just, you know, went like this, get going, and it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to hang on to this one. And we'll go ahead and do the last one while we have it out. I wore this one the other day too, and like I said, it looks like it's, you know, like separating and stuff. So I'll just go like that, shake it up a little bit, and use it. Um, I haven't had these that long, only like a year, but I'm starting to feel like maybe there's something I need to focus on um, because the shelf life is 12 months. I take shelf life, honestly, with a grain of salt when the formula goes bad. That's when I'll get rid of it. But since these are already kind of separating, they might be products that, you know, fall closer along the shelf life date. So I'm going to hang on to this and start focusing on it. Next, we have another lippy from Becca. This one is in the shade Souffle. This one is newer to me. I picked this up when they were on sale at Ulta for like half price. The shade is freaking beautiful. I love it. And I really like this formulation. So I'm um, definitely going to be hanging on to this one. All right, next we have another one from Kylie Cosmetics. This is from the Coco collection again. This one is in the shade Ochre. Um, this is like a super bright pink. Like it is so bright. I'm not going to swatch it because um, this formula actually has gone bad. It's expired. Um, it's like a straight liquid, which is not how it was before. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Next, we have from Half Caked, the shade Theme Song. This is in my Half Caked review as well. Um, super pretty shade. I love this formulation and these are newer to my collection. So I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this little baddie. The next one I have is from Physicians Formula. This was also sent to me in PR. It doesn't have a shade listed on it. I don't understand why. So I don't know what shade it is. Well, obviously it's a red, but <laughs> I don't know what the actual shade name is. Um, I have only worn this formula once, so I can't really speak to the formula, but I think the shade is a really pretty deep red. So I'm going to hang on to this a little bit longer so that I can maybe get my thoughts gathered on the formulation. Okay, this is the last product from KKW. This one's in the shade Cherry Pop. This is my favorite red shade. Favorite. Um, it is so pretty and deep, and honestly, this formula is just so creamy. Um, I had a few other shades of it, but they were too dark for me, but I really love this red shade, so uh, I'm definitely going to hang on to this little one. All right, next we have another one from the Coco Collection. Uh, this one is in the shade Gorge. I really loved this shade. It's like a super deep um, purpley tone. Again, I'm not going to swatch it because this was one that has expired. Uh, it literally just liquid in and out. Um, found that out when I was getting ready to go use it. So I'm going to let this one go, but I did love the shade. Overall, I will say Kylie's um, matte formula in these tubes are pretty drying. If you're going to purchase from her lip collection, I personally like the velvet formula, the glosses, both high gloss and normal gloss, and then the bullet lipsticks. The matte is the only one I would really like steer clear of. <laughs> so yeah, declutter. Then I have another one of these from KBD. Um, I really like this shade. I wear it often. This one is also a good like mixer if you're wanting to make something more cool toned or you want to do a little combo between like a liner and a lippy. So I use this one pretty often. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk. It's a little mini that I have. Um, it's gotten quite a bit of use. It's actually the lippy that I'm wearing today in the intro. I'm going to hang on to this. It's a really nice shade on me. Um, I don't really think 
that it's worth the price point so i'm definitely glad that i got a mini but i do enjoy the shade and the formula so i will definitely be holding on to this one then we have from bite beauty this one is in the shade glace um i've used this maybe twice and i think the shade is like super pretty but i just i don't use it um it separates badly on my lips into the creases and stuff and i've only worn it like twice but that was my experience and so for that reason i have not reached for this and like a year until I tried it again and I was like nope that's why I don't reach for it so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one I know a lot of people like it but the formula is just not for me all right now we have we're getting down to the last few um we have another red shade this one's from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade pomegranate um i got this the same time that i got the other one but this formula is not doing the same thing as the truffle shade so i don't feel like it's gone bad but it is a brighter red as you can see um now that i'm seeing it i'm like dang i don't even really feel like i would wear that shade of red um i think for now i'm gonna hang on to it this might be a declutter in the future but for right now, I think that I'm going to keep it in my collection just so I have a little bit of variety when it comes to the red shades. Okay, and then we have our last KBD lip. This one is in the shade uh, Love Story, and I love this one. The shade is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've used this quite a few times. Actually, my KBD lippies have gotten a lot of love. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them were close to empty, but that shade is absolutely gorgeous. I love this formula. I've been raving about it for like half the video, so <laughs> I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Okay, we got five left. This is the Tower 28 Gloss in the shade uh, Fearless. I like this formula, it's really nice. Um, it has this purple hue, but like the tint is so subtle that you're not gonna see it on your lips. But I really enjoy the formula. I have a few other minis from them as well, but I wanna try and work through some of my other glosses before I open the other minis that I have, just because, you know, I'm trying to be conscious of the time frames. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this little guy. Next is a gloss from Scott Barnes. This one's in the shade Swaggy. I love this shade. Um, the reflex in it are really pretty, plus the tone. And with these, you can build them up a little bit or you can like sheer them out. That's the one right there. Uh, and I just actually wore this the other day and it is so beautiful. I love this gloss shade. So I'm going to go ahead and I will be hanging on to this. I'm going to set it to the side over here because we're running out of space um, in the keep pile. And then this is my other one from Scott Barnes. This one's in the shade Coins. And I kind of thought maybe I would be decluttering this. I wore it the other day. Um, because it's like that similar, almost like a metallic, more than a gloss. Um, but like that's about as much as I put on my lips and then I blended it out and it gave a really nice bronzy sheen. So I think for now I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this. Uh, formula wise, I don't think his gloss formulas are my favorite. I don't hate it, but I'm not like, wow, this is the best thing I've ever tried. So if you're going to pick up a Scott Barnes lip, I would pick up the mattes instead of the glosses. But that's just my two cents. And then this is going to be a declutter as well. This is the Brat shade. Um, again, the formula just went bad. And this is the Velvet one. And I had this one for about two years. I loved this shade, but it's just like... It's gone to straight liquid. I don't know if you guys could like hear that, but um, so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I love this formula. I love this shade. It's just, it's expired and you know, that happens. So I'm going to declutter it. And then last but not least, 
these, we have our last color pop, um, just a tint. This one's in the shade Wakiki. This is actually the one that gets the most use in my collection. Um, because even though it's pinky, it does have like a more brown, warm undertone to it. So I really like this one. For that reason, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Okay, so here are all the lippies we were able to declutter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. We got rid of twelve. Um, I already knew I was going to be getting rid of these over here because the formula. Oh, and this one here because the formula just wasn't good anymore. Um, this one was kind of you know declutter as we were going through it. I made the decision the same with these. But yeah, that is what I'll be getting rid of. I will put up a little thing just to let you guys know how many lippies I have left open in my collection. Like I said, I have a few others that have not been opened yet. And that's because I don't want to start the um, ticking time bomb on them. So this is what we're getting rid of today. I'll, let, I'll put a number probably up in here um, of what I kept. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more declutters, let me know. I am going through my collection. Um category by category because I have not done it like decluttered it in a long time so there are things that I really just need to get rid of or don't want anymore um I'll give away and sell what I can anything else you know I'll just try my best to recycle but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell before you leave and I'll see you in the next one